First, we are going to go to our RetroArch folder. And if you install RetroArch, it should be inside of your local disk and RetroArch Win64. And then saves. Now run RetroArch and load a Nintendo DS game with the Melon DS core. And when you do this, a Melon DS folder will be created inside the saves folder. Close down RetroArch. Now by default, the Melon DS standalone version stores your save files in the same folder as your ROMs. So if you go to your Nintendo DS room folder or games folder, you should have a file with the same name as your game, but with the .save extension. And all you have to do is copy the .save file and then paste it inside of the Melon DS folder. And now if you load the game, you can see that the save file is working correctly.